So in 2011, both of my children were diagnosed around the same time with a serious form of the neurological illness, ME, chronic fatigue syndrome. And it was my daughter, who's now 21, who fell ill very, very dramatically after having a really nasty flu virus. And she basically went from attending full-time secondary school to being um, mainly bedbound or on the couch on the sofa and unable to really do much for herself at all. I found the carer centre, so that was one place where I have felt I've got good yes. support and signposting yeah. over the years. Mm -hmm. Also the local ME support group. Good. Was brilliant because they totally understood the condition and could help. At the beginning, I don't know if it's like that for all carers, but there was such a huge sense of loss of so many things in my life. Both our children fell ill, you know, so the future just suddenly looked completely different yes. for them. Yeah. And I lost my career. I'd just got a new job. I was really enjoying it. You know, I'd done years of training to get to that place where I could do the work that I wanted. I was lucky in that I had an employer because I worked at CAMS who yeah. gave me um, some carer's leave. So that already acknowledged in the okay. title that right. I was a carer. Yes. But I really didn't feel I was for a number of years, no. I think, even though I approached the carer centre. And again, probably from my working background, I knew that I needed to get help from services but I, I think it was probably as time went on and I was doing so much around kind of medication and certain things that I was doing that I just felt it was actually quite helpful to think of myself as a carer in that situation rather than simply parenting because it sort of gave me a different identity yes around doing it it's and getting a different kind of support I yeah thought, so just being a parent with a, a poorly child so yeah. like, well i'm a carer and with that with the carers act it means then it's like well what support do you have mm. as a carer what's out there to to support you mm -hmm. and, and like you say using people like uh, the local carer center yeah um, because they have a wealth of knowledge as well not just you know what they're offering but who else what other charities what other services are out there mm -hmm. that can help you and it was with this group of women that i mentioned that i've come to know through facebook that one of them in particular would kind of highlight that the job that i was doing was a job and it was so multifaceted yeah. and challenging that you know it needed to be validated and thought of as a job and to yes. have some self-esteem kind of attached with that because I think probably prior to that I was just conscious that I'd given up a job and I was more focused on the loss rather than well, what I've actually gained you know I've gained a whole new skill set from doing yes. what I'm doing completely and faced a you know whole new set of challenges 